my beautiful fountain friends. Welcome. Oh, hold on. Hello, my beautiful fountain friends. Welcome to Creepy Nibs. I am Agatha Wimbledon, and today we have an ink review of Ferris Wheel Press Lady Rose. Lady Rose is my aunt. She's from Norfolk, Spurshire, like I am. Beautiful packaging. I dare say it is absolutely delightful in every way possible. Here is the box. Here is the bottle. Or should I say, bauble? <laughs> I'm so clever. It has this heavy brass cap in the shape of a hexagon. Small opening. But it is fine. It should fit most pens quite nicely. Maybe not a pelican. I don't know. I don't have one. It also comes in this delightful little pouch. Isn't it lovely? It's a beautiful shade of pink. With beautiful, beautiful gold embroidery. I can't tell if the, I don't know. I believe so. Maybe it is. Maybe it is just simple foil print. Regardless, lovely. I love it. It is fantastic. They are from Canada. So, there are French words upon the packaging that say Té à la Rose, which means rose tea, which is not Lady Rose. I don't know what's going on there. Oh, and on the bottom. I don't think I've ever seen anybody show the bottom. You can't have a top without a bottom. Ho, 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 ho. There we go. Behold, it's the whimsical sights, sounds, and nostalgia of the carnival dance with the rat tat tat of a traditional print shop. Cute, absolutely lovely. They have a new collection en route to my home, and I am excited for it. Here we go. Let us start by zooming. Here we go, here we go, okay. Here is the colouring swatch of Ferris Wheel Press Lady Rose. Oh dear. There we go, Lady Rose. So we'll set that there. The only close ones I have are these three. It's Colourverse Branch Date. Robert Oster Rose Gilt Tint. And Pen BBS Rose Quartz. As you can see, none of them are really quite exact. Maybe these two are the closest. This one seems to have far more blue undertones, along with that beautiful shimmer. See the shimmer? It is gorgeous. Gorgeous. Lady Rose. Very beautiful. Very beautiful. Pink rosy colours, perfect name. Rose tea would be even more perfect name. Yes. Okay, so um that's those. That's there we go. There there we go. Okay. Get out of the way. We have shit to do. Here are the chromatographers. Here is the normal one. Here is the one that I let dry. So as you can see, as you can see, as you can see, god damn it, it left a little bit of grey at the bottom, and then it goes up, and I don't know if you'll be able to see that, the loop is on the other side of the room, it goes into pink, and then the entire rainbow, the entire rainbow. I don't know how the hell they managed to do that, but they did it. It's there. It's the entire rainbow. Look, now you can see it. Yes, pink to like a red and then an orange and then a yellow and then a green and then a blue and then a violet. Beautifully done. I am very impressed. Now here's the one that I let dry. Look at them close together. 
You can see the grey line. It's quite a bit darker. Hmm? Hmm? See? Oh, maybe you can't see it in this light. In oh, there we go. There we go. Lovely. Lovely. It didn't push as much of the grey up. But it goes, and then it does the same thing. Not quite as vibrant. But still a rainbow. Rainbows, they're lovely. I love them. Fabulous. Here is the watercolour paper with the bleach test. With the bleach test. And as you can see, it is completely obliterated. However, however, upon the edges of the letters that you cannot see, it goes... It looks like a shade of blue. It has bleached both the ink and the paper. This is a brighter white than this white. Hmm, very interesting. Very pretty. That is what test with the dip pen, and as you can see, it is removed. For the most part, it did not completely take it all away like that did, but it did go away somewhat. Here it is blended with a little bit of water, Gorgeous, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful gradient. I love it. I hope to get better at this someday. Here is the Nick Stewart technique. There we go. Look at that beautiful colour. Beautiful colour. Unfortunately, not very interesting. Doesn't pull out other colours. I was hoping for more of that rainbow effect. However, very pretty, very pretty, very brownish pink, bits of grey, wonderful, wonderful, it's like all of my favourite colours of ink, all in one. Now, the pens used for the paper test. I couldn't decide, so I used four. I, there we go. The first one. The finest of the nibs is this Pilot Kakuno with a fine nib. Beautiful, lovely writer. It has a regular metropolitan fine nib upon it because I put the Kakuno nib on a different pen. Here we have a Pilot Metropolitan. Oh, oh dear. With a medium nib. Very pretty. Very pretty. Little bit of nib creep. Next, we have the Pilot Falcon. Hmm, didn't expect to see that one, did you? No, no, I said... Uh, 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 but this one has a soft medium nib. All the falcons have soft nibs, so I did not write the word soft on the paper test. Beautiful, this nib is gorgeous. My second favourite to write with. Here we have the Duisby Ego. And this is in a broad. Nice, nice broad nib. Broad nib. Okay, okay. Oh, I am sore from sitting this way. Oh, oh dear. Now, first, Clairefontaine, 90 grams per square metre. Oh, look at this, it's so pretty. I say as it goes out of focus. There we go. Lovely, lovely colour. Lovely colour. Especially in that fine nib. Oh, I was expecting it to be too light to show up nicely, but it does absolute wonders. Beautiful, beautiful. Sometimes these kind of light pinky colours will do very poorly in a fine nib and will be completely unreadable, but this one is not. There we go, that's better. And the Pilot Metropolitan. Pilot Metropolitan. Very nice too. Lovely shading. Oh, and the Pilot Falcon. Oh my goodness gracious me, oh my, that is absolutely delightful. Look at that. Look at that. Absolutely marvellous. Absolutely marvellous. I dripped some upon the page, and now there is a dot of it. Now for the dry times, which were actually pretty nice. Relatively normal. 
It took six seconds to dry in the fine nib, 18 in the medium, 23 in the soft medium, and 11 in the broad. Now the downstrokes on the soft nib are infinitely going to be wider than going, than going sideways. So, yes, is opening the tines, putting more ink down. This, there was a teensy little bit of lamy vibrant pink in the cap of this metropolitan. So that's why that looks like that. This swatch looks gorgeous. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful colour. Now the water test. It turned grey. Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful. Wonderful. Easily recoverable, should you choose to do so. Look at that. It just takes away all the colour. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, next. Oh, on the back. There is nothing. No bleed, no feather, no spread. No echo and no sheen. Fabriano echo qua. This is 85 grams per square meter paper. It looks lovely, lovely with this paper colour. It is not a bright white like the Clairefontaine. It's a bit of an off-white, and I think that complements this colour most beautifully. Oh, it seems to show a little bit more of the pink, a little bit less of the brown. See that? Do you see what I'm talking about? Yes. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Shading in everything, it would seem. Got a little bit in that fine nib little bit of halo effects here and there. Oh, it looks amazing in the falcon again. Oh my goodness, that is beautiful. We will see a whole page of writing with that pen very shortly. It took seven seconds to dry in the fine, eleven in the medium, twenty-eight in the falcon, and sixteen in the broad. Not too, too bad. Not too, too bad. Especially with how much ink this pen puts down. 28 seconds is not quite a terrible thing. And there's the swatch. Beautiful again. Absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Water test again did a similar thing. It doesn't make it quite as dark as it does in the Clairefontaine, however. Do you see? Here we go. There's comparison. Still good, it's not gone. Next, Rhoda. 80 gram per square meter paper. Very nice again. Lovely colour, lovely shading. Gorgeous, gorgeous. And then in the Metropolitan, gorgeous as well. Look at that fucking marvellous pilot falcon. Oh my goodness! Look at that! Look at it! Look at it! Are you looking at it? It's beautiful. The Twisby Ego. Look at that one! Look at that one! Oh my goodness! Dry times were good. It took six seconds to dry in the fine, thirteen in the medium, only twenty in the falcon, and fifteen in the broad. And I wonder, what is that? What is that next to that dot? Okay, I was. I thought there might have been a bit of feathering, but I did not notice before, but it is not. There's the swatch. Very lovely colour. Very lovely colour. The water test didn't do very well, but it did fine. It did fine. Very nice. Cool. Oh, I have to get through this. We have so much more paper than usual. We have two more rivers. 68 gram per square metre cream. Marvellously stunning, marvellously stunning. It looks so good on this paper. Oh my lord. It brings out the grey. Without removing all the colour. Oh my lord. This is absolutely marvellous. This ink is so pretty. Look at that. Look at all those fuckings. There's shading in each and every one. It took nine seconds to dry in the fine nib. Very good! Very good. It took 20 seconds in the medium metropolitan. Not so good, but fine. 
It took 31 seconds to dry in the falcon and only 13 in the twisby. However, however, I had some issues. I've had to, like, crank the piston up. Um, what is it down? I can never decide whether it is up or down right now. So tell me what you think. I'm sure there is an exact way to say it, but I do not care. Um, but it did not did not flow as wet as it normally does, but it flowed very wet out of these, so I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. On the back. Oh, wait, let's get to the swatch, because that is pretty. Look at that. It's so pretty. Oh, it's just more grey than it is anywhere else, and it's almost kind of purple. My, my, marvellous. The water test did incredibly well. It did better than it did on the previous two papers. Look at that. Look at that. You could tell. It's very obvious. Wait, that's the Clairefontaine. That one did really good. There's the Fabriano. See? See? I would never expect a water test to do better on a river paper than on Rhodia. Look at that. You could totally read that very easily. No dying of the page. No dying of the words. It's all beautiful. And on the back, there is no echo. It's relatively light ink. We get a little bit of almost bleed in the swatch, but that usually happens. And everything else is just great. You can't, you can't see it. Next! Ooh! 52 gram turmoil of paper. Amazing shading. I dare say this is so lovely. It is so lovely. Look at that. It brings out some of the grey. A little bit more than it did on some of the other papers. Yes! Yes! Look at that! Look at that! Look at that! It's just a slash of beautiful shading. Oh my goodness! My goodness! Get yourself a sample if you can! It's very lovely. It took 8 seconds to dry in the fine, 12 seconds to dry in the medium, 32 seconds to dry in the falcon, and 29 in the broad. Not bad! Very good! Very good! Look at the halo in that. Oh, my God. I, oh, I need a cup of tea with a strong drop of brandy. Ah, ah, very beautiful, very beautiful. Water tested, if not bad. Did way better on the 68 gram cream. But it still did very well. Very well for Tomo River. That one's a little difficult. These water tests were done with the Metropolitan and with the Falcon in case that was not mentioned previously. There we go, but there we go. We see it is all grey. And now, on the back, I didn't notice any ghosting. See, I put a little bit of pressure down when I wrote with the falcon so I can get a little bit of extra line and variation. So there's a little bit of a ridge there from that. The, the, the only time it goes even a little bit is on this part. Very lovely. Very lovely. The water test didn't push through. Marvellous. HP Premium 32 pound laser jet. This paper is an abomination against God. And uh, I didn't hate writing on it this time. Strange. Very strange. It's not so bad. It spreads, obviously. It doesn't look super good. We still get the shading, though. There's still a shading. How marvelous is that? Gorgeous. Not didn't expect that, did you? No. It took 8 seconds to dry in the fine, 11 seconds to dry in the medium, 16 seconds to dry in the falcon, and 9 seconds to dry in the broad. The swatch looks okay. It's fine. I guess. Maybe. On a Sunday. The water test did very, very, very well. Very well. Ah, that's marvellous. The drops there look very good. And now, oh, on the back, there's nothing. Very nothing. Now, for the shitty 20 pound, oh dear, you can already tell how that's going to look. This is disgusting. I hate looking at this. I hate writing with this. I hate doing this to my pens. I audibly apologize to the Pilot Falcon for putting it on this disgusting paper. 
Ooh, ooh, I hate it. I hate it. There's feathering everywhere. There is spread even more. There's bleed all over the place. Look at all the bleed. There's so much bleed. Oh, my goodness gracious. It's terrible, and I hate it. It took one second to dry in the fine, two seconds to dry in the medium, three seconds to dry in the falcon, and two seconds to dry in the broad. That swatch looks horrific. Water completely fucked up the paper. Very bad. It usually does that. Ah, uh, God, that's horrible. Horrible! I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Go away. I wish I could throw this in the garbage, but I need to keep it in case I need to reference it. No! It's very pretty, but it seems a little bit washed out. The head is Tama River. I don't know what's going on. You see, maybe it'd be better to compare to this one. See? Well, maybe not all the way, only in some spots. Very pretty. Lovely amount of shading. I love writing on this paper. It is absolutely marvellous. It took 8 seconds to dry in the fine, 18 seconds to dry in the medium, 25 or 34. I couldn't remember if I did the broad twice or if I did... I don't know. I don't know. It was a thing that happened. And then 25 to dry in the eco. That's swatch. That's swatch. Oh my goodness. Beautiful. 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 The water tested and pretty bad. I didn't like that very much. You could see it better in person than you can on camera, to be honest. And then uh, Metropolitan was running out of ink. But it wasn't really running out of ink because the Con 40 converter is absolute garbage and there was a bunch of ink trapped in an air bubble. I thought the balls were supposed to prevent that. Hmm? Hmm, pilot? Hmm? No. No, it didn't. It didn't. It didn't. Anyway, anyway, so there we go. And on the back, there's nothing. No bleed, feather spread, echo sheen. Oh, there's definitely shading, though. There's shading all over the goddamn place. Next! Two papers to go. I promise we're almost finished. This is my new favourite paper. Midori MD Cotton. Look. Look at that. Look at that. My word. I don't need, I don't know, do I need to say anything about this? No, it's too beautiful. I believe it is 68 grams per square meter, but I found a zero actual evidence of that being true of this particular paper. It took 12 seconds to dry in the fine, 17 to dry in the medium, 28 to dry in the falcon, and 20 to dry in the broad. This paper's got a bit of a texture, as you can see, as you can see. As you can see, as you can see, as you can see, as you can see. Beautiful. Oh, my lord, this shading is just marvellous. And I wasn't sure how to do it on this very tiny piece of paper. Uh, and I gave myself so much room. So this is the falcon. This is the metropolitan that I primed after the last test. So I wrote super wet. There's the fine, beautiful, and there's the broad, very lovely, very lovely. Oh, it brings out so much of the pink. And the wolf to test did it not too terrible. It did very well, actually. I don't know why I said it like that the first time. There's a drop, a beautiful halo effect, absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeously stunning, and I love it, and on the back... Um, you get a little bit of ghosting with this paper sometimes. See, it is not... It's kind of thin. I don't know. I believe it should be... If I read correctly, these two are the same weight, but this one feels a little bit heavier. I don't know. Um, but yes, this paper ghosts, but there has no bleed in any part. It almost bleeds through in that drop. But not really, not really. I'm not going to bother trying to focus on that now for my ink journal and the last segment of this video. Oh dear, oh, my, oh no, camera, stop being a poop. Thank you. This is a Rodia A5 Heritage Journal. It doesn't annoy. 
Why? 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 Is it because I'm too pretty? It's because I'm too pretty, isn't it? Probably. Whatever. Whatever. I do what I want. It's okay. So, it's absolutely marvellous. I love this binding lace. Completely flat. Unless you're here in between two of the signatures and then it, it goes all stupid. And you go like this. Oh, I just keep flipping to new signatures. Anyway, so this is my bookmark. It's a piece of art from a tarot deck that I purchased. Now, it's on page two. Look at that. I wrote this whole thing with the falcon. Look at that. Look at that shading. Very lovely on this paper. I love it. I love it so much. Oh, look at that. There's just like all the shading. All that marvelous shading on this green paper. Gorgeous. Look. Oh, God. I don't need to say any more. Everything that is written on this page I probably already mentioned in the video, so I'm not going to stick around on this too long. Um, let's see, it didn't do anything on the other side. Not really any echo. There's some ridges here from my press here. But other than that, it's just fine. Um, now I'm going to get this out of the way, so I never have to mention it again. Here's my table of contents. I, initially, I wrote, and then, and then I, I would put a slash, and then I'm like, no, I should be consistent. And I wrote slashes with Roller and Klingner documenter Schwartz all the way down. Well, almost all the way down. And then I realized, and I flipped the page. Look, oh, fuck me. Look at that bleed. Absolutely repulsive. Get it out of my sight. I hate it, and I'm furious with myself for not testing it, but that pen ink didn't bleed very much on the other paper tests that I did quite a long time ago. So I don't know what's happening. Maybe this paper's just angry with me. I don't know. So I put some washi tape. Hopefully make it prettier, but really it just looks incredibly ugly on that page. But this one's beautiful. I should have just done a straight line down the whole way through, and then that would have been... It so that was fun. I hope you had fun. This was fun. This was Ferris Wheel Press, Lady Rose. Absolutely gorgeous ink. Gorgeous ink comes in an 85 milliliter bottle. Beautiful packaging. It's absolutely stunning. And I love it ever so much. So thank for you, thank you for watching. Punch every Nazi and have a wonderful day. Keep yourself safe and wash your fucking hands.